By that time, though, there was a new power in Bakersfield. His name was Merle Haggard, and he would become the role model for a generation of country singers and songwriters. And the youngest dream of growing up to ride On a great train leaving town Not knowing where I'm bound The one who changed my mind but mama's fire The one and only rebel child From a family meek and mild My mama seemed to know what lay in store Merle Haggard was a rebel and his life story reads like a country lyric. He was born in a boxcar in Bakersfield. His daddy died when he was just nine. He became a small-time hood and landed in San Quentin prison at age 19. And a lot of folks probably wrote off Merle Haggard right there. But that's just where this story begins. Because Haggard reformed and dedicated himself to country music. And when he left prison, he found a home in the Bakersfield honky-tonks. If you can play guitar in a honky-tonk versus picking cotton or using a hammer or uh, driving a truck or some of the other things that an uneducated person could do. More than a record deal, it seemed to me like the place to be was on that bandstand getting experience. Thank you. Haggard made the most of his years in Bakersfield, using them as the raw material for gritty, realistic music about working life. Probably the best working man, songwriter and singer. He just did more of that. It was kind of like his specialty. And me being one of those guys, it moved me, of course. I'll keep my nose on the grindstone, work hard every day. I might get a little tired on the weekend. After I draw my pay, but I go back working. Come Monday morning, I'm right back where the crew. I'll drink a little beer to tavern long, sing a little bit of them working man blues. He'll go down in history as a great American writer. He just sang like I love to hear people sing. And he just is an American icon, if there ever was one. I gotta find my kids a brand new pair of shoes. We try to make it simple and deep at the same time. You know, and uh, something worth talking about, something worth writing about, is, is really uh, unique and, and just a viewpoint. It's something like art. Haggard cut his earliest hits 100 miles south in Los Angeles. Musically, his style wasn't Bakersfield, but his individualism was. Yeah. Okay. Like Buck Owens, Haggard's independent nature put him at odds with Nashville. Okay. Take Merle Haggard, I forget you every day. Take seven. If you went back there and you fell in with their way of doing things, well, then everything that I'd learned would have been out the window. Nashville was just basically a recording town and there wasn't any music there except what was going on in the studios and then at one show a week. So you couldn't make a living there. You had to come in and out and do what you could do uh, session-wise and, and go back to wherever you made your living, whether it be with music or something else. And like Owens, Haggard rejected one of Nashville's greatest prizes, cast membership on the Grand Ole Opry. The Wilburn Brothers called Fuzzy Owen, my manager, and, uh, and at the time, and said, uh, we'd like to have Merle come back and join the Opry. He said, I think you need Merle Haggard. He said, I don't think Merle Haggard needs the Grand Ole Opry. He was the guy that stood up and said, hey, you don't need to go back there, get lost in the shuffle. He said, they're calling you because you were out here. We don't let our hair grow long and shaggy. Like the hippies out in San Francisco do And I'm proud to be an Okie from Muskogee And once Haggard cut Okie from Muskogee in 1969, he really didn't need Nashville to make his career. We still wave old glory down at the courthouse And white lightning still the biggest thrill of all there was a hippie movement that was going on in the, in the country, and then there, and there was the country people that didn't understand it at all. Well, I'm a barroom musician. I'm kind of in between, you know, and there seemed to be a void there, you know, for, for songs that, that touched on those subjects that uh, 
the hippies and the, the country people didn't agree on. Oki from Muskogee solidified Merle Haggard's stature as a country music giant. Nashville had to recognize him. He did nothing but score number one hits. If we both sing if we Thanks to Merle Haggard and Buck Owens, Bakersfield became an important voice in country music and a honky-tonk hotspot. But Bakersfield's Day in the Sun was a short one. And someday we'll look back and say it was fun. I wish I could go back. I mean, there's nothing like it nowhere in the world. I mean, the Riviera or any place that you could name would be some, something short of what was going on out there then. And uh, there's it's, it's nothing like it anymore. Buck Owens came out of semi-retirement in the late 80s, and for the past decade, he's been performing at a successful club he runs in Bakersfield. And, we'll walk the street to Bakersfield. and Merle Haggard has become a hero to every country singer-songwriter who has dared to buck the Nashville establishment. 